Okay, I'm not sure if you heard that, but for God's sake, it's broken the emulator. I've got. God damn it. Hmm. It's me, Mario! Oh, great, I can't tell if it's recording properly or not. Hello! Ugh, that's annoying. Whatever. Okie dokie! Um, this might be hard synchronizing later, whatever. Let's go into the painting. Painting. Hey guys, Mark Smithers 12 here, and I'm just gonna do. I don't know. A test video. I don't know. I don't really know if this is a test, but this is a potential for a series called Let's Glitch Mario 64, based on Messino Experts Let's Glitch Pokemon Yellow series on YouTube. Being a bit fun, whatever. So, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to explore as many glitches as I can find in Super Mario 64. Because it's Super Mario 64, I'm sure there will be a lot. Anyway, as I, uh, the reason I'm making this video is because I found another one that I could pair with another glitch. So I was thinking, yeah, sure, why not pair this into a video? So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, it might be quicker to get into this cannon here because you're going to need the wing cannon, you know, just because. Uh, flying to the island. Oh, uh, Flighty uh, King Bob, I'm sure that's it. I have to just remember something. Um. Oh, god damn it, I chose the wrong star. Hang on a second. Debut saves all the files as glitchy AVI files that Sony Vegas doesn't seem to recognize. Actually, if I'm. Um, wait, hang on. I'm only able to edit this in Windows Movie Maker. Because the audio on the video is the background music, and the audio for the microphone will take up the other audio layer. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh crap, I've got to grab the wing cap. That's okay, I can just go to this island. I feel like I'm wasting time. Anyway, what you want to do is go to King Bob on with a wing cap. And you're going to pick him up and throw him off the edge and run away as far as possible. And as soon as he jumps back... Ah, oh, for God's sake! Um, the music should change. And by should, I mean should still be the battle music. So... Yes. Oh no, I'm inside him. Oh no, get out from between his legs, Mario. Anyway, you have to still have the wing cap for this to work. I think. Oh no, wait, no you don't. But this is an example of how the music changes. It's hard to explain. Ah. So, I recommend going to like a corner or something. Which is probably best to get him where he starts. And then just run! Long jump if you have to. Get as far away as possible. Crap. Might not be far away enough. Yes, it worked! And now the battle music is playing, even though Mario has a wing cap. And when it runs out, it still keeps playing. But the funny thing is, if you get a wing cap, and then the music ends, the battle music should still be playing. I'm gonna grab some coins before I die. Now, another glitch I just, well, I just noticed. I can't say discovered because it's a really old game, but. I probably did, I don't know, it's really minor. But if you go up to this over to this hill over here and, and uh, do a triple jump into a when wearing the wing cap, sometimes he stands up up there and it messes up the camera. Like so. As if you would use the moon jump code too much. But I'm not i I'm not using codes because well, I am using an emulator, but I'm not using codes because I'm not like that. So the camera just goes very annoying. 
So if you're making a video game with a camera, this is probably it. Like how you'd expect it to. Oh great, and I've gotten hit. It's not working like it anymore. Oh my god, a water balloon just hit a bomb on. That's quite hard to do actually. Hmm. There's another glitch I don't know if I can do. But it concerns the chain chomp. Now, I didn't even know this was possible because I was just legitimately playing the game. It's just pounding the stump. And as soon as I knocked it down, the chain chomp hit me. And he kind of ended up outside the gate. He, he ended up, like, down here during the animation. And uh, the game kind of spazzed out a bit, but it still played fine. So, I don't really know how to get... how to repeat that. Um, another glitch, which is quite easy to do, is if you go into the ladder, jump, and let go, he'll pull himself through it. Let's see if there's any errors around here I can think of. Ah, yes. The one that I'm pretty sure I discovered. It doesn't really do much as far as I can tell, but if you go into a cannon, and at the right timing, Press B then A. Ah, uh, god damn it! I did it too late. I'll try this cannon. You can mess up the cannon so that you can't see out the peephole thing. Ah, oh, that should have worked. I guess try again. Come on, do it, Mario. It's not that hard to do. You just press B and A. What? Okay. Please don't tell me I can't do this on camera. Because I've made a video about this before. There we go. You press B and A and it does this. We have to do it as soon as the can loads. Don't really know why I... This used to happen to me when I first played the game. I was like, what's going on? Because I used to like pressing random buttons. But yes. It just messes up your point of view. It doesn't really mess up the cannon or anything. You're not trapped in there, don't worry. Uh, another glitch is around here somewhere. Normally it's... Ah, there it is. This bob Um, You can play around with this bob -omb a fair bit. I'm not sure how many things you can do with it, but... One of the most noticeable things is, is um, you can grab it, jump, and ground pound. And it stays in place. What the hell? Why did they just do that? <laughs> well, I, I, you see, my hands just play around with buttons sometimes. I, I really don't know why. Give me that money. Um, another glitch I found, which I've only ever been able to do once, is I had the wing cap. It's flying down here. I've got this on VHS, by the way. Well, not me doing the process, but like the glitch itself in motion. I activate this switch as I was flying. The doors are opening, and as they're opening, a bomb blew up, and I got trapped inside the gate. I doubt I'll be able to do it again. But no, it happened. Yeah, that's another glitch there. Bombs can push you through gates. Yes, even the Chain Chomp Stargate, but it's very hard to do. But I'm going to try to do it anyway. Ooh, I'm just trying. I think I, I thought I just remembered another glitch, but I'm thinking of the the uh, DS version. Right. Right. Do I have to do this? Okay, I must have to grab it first. Um, there's a glitch you can do with bob bombs where it's not really much of a glitch. It's just lazy programming, but you can normally they chase you when their fuse is gone. Crap, I pressed the wrong button. Normally, bombs chase you when they see you, and if a fuse is going, it means they're aggroed onto you. But, the funny thing is that in Mario 64, they didn't think, logically, that a bomb would actually chase, well, need to be programmed like this, because look, he's still walking if you crouch. They don't expect you to put him down like that. They fixed it in the, uh, the DS version. Yeah, pop. Um, <clears throat> let's see, there's a warp glitch, but there's no way to remove Mario's cap in this level, so I'll save that for the level it's appropriate in. 
Um, hmm. Okay, what was the other oh, just what I was thinking of? Oh yeah, I can't do that one. Ah, right, the bomb through the what's his face's gate. Great. Um, here's something not many people know about bombs. Oh, sorry, chain jumps. You can throw things at them, and then they're like, "Oh my god!" Before someone got me. And it works with bombs too. Oh, how 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 the hell were you not close enough? Oh come on, respawn. Jeez, man. Oh, what the hell? I was about to make that then. Oh, hey, Chain Chomp, you want a bomb? Dude, why isn't this working? Okay, guess try this again. Because this is getting really, really freaking stupid. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why it does that, it just does. Oh, come on, respawn. I need to see if I can do this glitch. Um, damn. Yeah, I think you're supposed to get to explode you through a wall. That nearly got me. But I can't really remember. Uh, is there anything else I can do in here? Hmm. <laughs> Siri bomb. No! He's gonna kill me! God damn it. Oh yeah, there's a way to get on top of the... What the... Did I just... Did I just... I, I don't even know. What the hell is that? Oh yeah. There's a camera glitch that seems to work in this level, and I think it's one other level. It needs to be a level where you can rotate the camera, but it gets restricted if you rotate it, it, rotate it in one direction too many times. I don't know why. So you press start, go to set camera, Likito, Likito, whatever, stop. And you press up. You keep hold of um, R, and you just run away to a faraway location to where you think Mario's far away off. But I'm going to need some coins because my health is low. Anyway, this will do. As long as you know where Mario's going, just make sure he's in a far away distance. Now, normally if you let go, Likito would just go straight to Mario, like this. Instantaneous, right? Well, if I go over here... Dude. Wow, two gumbas with one fist. Okay. Just gonna get the camera angle nice and pretty. Right, okay. So if you run away, then you get far away enough. Then you just go into first person mode, press press A and then let go. Now the Keto tries to find Mario at a slow pace. But the further away you do it, the longer it takes the Keto to find Mario. So let's try this. Um Come on, jump over you twat. Uh, if you go into a cannon, your camera thing will get um, cancelled out. So yeah, Lakita does this. It's like, oh my god, where's Mario? Gives a nice 3D kind of effect. And then you can just like press the button again, like, yeah, pie. Uh, it's a great way to get a whole view of the level without having to pause like this. It's like, need -a I think I'll do for this episode. Now to edit it. Um, there's a glitch you can do on these, but it's ridiculously hard and totally not worth it. You can backwards long jump onto them. And if you do it fast enough on these moving ones, which I don't recommend because they're better... For God's sake! They're better... Ah! <laughs> examples to do this on. I think moving platforms are the hardest. But the most practical, because you can get a lot of speed in them. Uh, why isn't that bomb chasing me? So, yeah. Might make another episode, not really sure. Anyway, see you guys in the next episode if I do.